a while back, I rebuilt a lot of this. Um, I bought a new TikTok tack, which I like. I think they're really cool. It was a neat feature. Um, I refaced the gauges. Uh, I recalibrated them, which can be done. Uh, there's a lot of information out there on the internet how to do it. And the alternator gauge, technically that's not true. That's actually a voltmeter. Um, because the amp meter gauge in these things is stupid. Uh, it's suicidal and don't get me started. Chrysler, I think, was trying to sell cars when they made that. Anyway, uh, it looks okay, but accuracy is questionable. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of weird, kind of nervous about it. And, uh, you know, I think it's time to fix it. So I bought something and uh, we're going to. We're going to swap this out for a Dakota Digital. Um, I'm going to keep the old one because who knows? Uh, I may not like it, but uh, we're going to detail that process. <laughs> So we pulled the dash cluster out and uh, before I get too deep into this, I noticed that I'd done some stuff I kind of forgot about that uh, it's fairly common for the rally dash cluster that I thought I'd kind of go into real quick with it. I'll show you more of this one here in a bit, but that's the uh, modification where I took the amp gauge out and uh, put in a voltmeter and uh, improved that. Here's another thing that's pretty common with these circuit boards that are on the back of these, these pins, um, they crack or the, I don't know if it's the solder breaks down or what the deal is with it, but uh, if you notice things are going wrong or your gauges aren't right, start here. This is where your pigtail connects to it and just kind of re-solder some of those and uh, you might get some pretty interesting results. I also put a hot lead on this to go over to the tack, which or the clock, which is just me. Also, these grounds here, make sure you clean those up or, or your gauges won't work well. So clean them up and make sure they're well secured because these uh, tin, tenement nuts suck and they don't really ground well. Another thing that really, really makes a huge difference, uh, inside this case is a, uh, you can see that's part of the capacitor I put on it, but inside this case there is a, uh, capacitor, diode, I don't know what this thing is. I, I pulled the uh, instructions off of uh, something I think Ehrenberg wrote a long time ago. Uh, but these things are famous for frying. The dash voltage is all five volt instead of 12. So uh, when this little doohickey pops, it fries all your gauges. Uh, and they're not very accurate on top of that. So there's a solid state thing that I've pried the case open and put in there uh, with a little bit of solder. It puts off some heat, so you have to put a heat sink on the back of it, but it worked pretty well. Uh, they make them, now they're all fancy and custom built, but I think I got like eight bucks in this one, but it worked pretty good. Um, anyway, uh, that's something that you can do on the cheap that'll make sure your dash lives for a while. Uh, but that's it. I thought somebody might want to study up on that or follow through on it because they're pretty famous for those weak spots. Okay, I'm not gonna go in to too much detail on the mechanical application of this thing. Dakota Digital did their homework. Uh, everything fit right in. The dash face piece is about the only piece you're keeping. Uh, the switches uh, bolt right to the back of the frame that Dakota Digital sends. It's very nicely done and it's not hard to install. Your bigger problem uh, is getting everything out. Uh, it really isn't hard. Uh, the wiring we'll get to here in a second, but uh, uh, this the fit's good. Um, I don't know if you can see without the glare, but I really like the way the gauges, uh, they're not too much different than the originals. Um, I like the originals. I think they're nice. I, it, I didn't want to go anything that was too far away from the, the, the uh, you know, the original stuff, the intention of the car. I don't like to... I like the 
I don't know. I like the old school. I don't think it needs to be too far revised, but uh, that's what it looks like up close. So this will be the final uh, view of the dash. It's installed. Uh, I didn't get too deep into the uh, installation because I feel like if you could pull the dash out, there's not a whole lot to putting it in. Uh, the biggest problem you may run into is figuring out where you want to tap your wires from. Uh, some of these things for the ECU for the dash, and yes, there's a control unit for the dash. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Okay. Uh, there is a control unit for the dash. And there's a hollow space up underneath here where I tuck that in. Um, I didn't mount it to anything specifically. I wrapped it in foam to kind of keep it uh, from bouncing around and tucked it up in there and it all tucked nicely. And I just took the wire, um, ran it up there with it, uh, kind of in its own pigtail and everything worked out nicely. The original switches here, they're all still um, plumbed in from the original harness. About the only thing you're going to have to uh, cut into or, or change uh, really doesn't account or doesn't get into your factory harness too much. And you should be fine. I, I don't think there's any problems here. I think it was a very straightforward, very easy install. And uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me try and get a decent overall view without the steering wheel in the way, which is impossible. Okay, I can't turn the light off. What do you think? I really like the overall product. They make a swoopier, more modern version of this, but in my opinion, it kind of tries to be something I, I don't appreciate for the car. I think the car is very good the way it is. Basic, cool, old, and uh, it's not a new car. I don't like things that try and make it look like a new car, but I appreciate the convenience and the accuracy of things that are new. Uh, all these sensors that came with it plugged right in. Um, they do make a plug-in that goes to my Mega Squirt, uh, but it was back ordered. So, uh, and it really wasn't that hard to put the sensors in anyway. So those of you out there that have Mega Squirts that want these, um, use, use your best judgment. I'm not gonna tell you one way or another, but it wasn't that hard to wire in the sensors and, and do it old school. Remember the cost of a, new motor probably doesn't equal the cost of this dash upgrade. So thanks for watching.